Welcome to the Sports Talk with T. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down Chiefs versus Jaguars, going over the injury report like I always do for both teams, and my keys to victory for the Chiefs and some things to watch. Um, so let's jump right into it with the injury report for the Jaguars. Now, this is a very short injury um, report. There's only two guys on this list, Rayshon Jenkins, safety, and then Evan Ingram, the tight end, who has been a big part in this offense this season. He's had a few good games here and there. He's been showing up for the Titans, I mean, for the Jaguars. So that'll definitely be um, something to watch if Evan Ingram plays or not. I do think he ends up playing. I believe that he uh, was limited a little bit last week and ended up playing. But Rayshon Jenkins with a do not practice he came Sunday. So let's go take a look at the Chiefs injury report. And we do got a little bit to talk about about here. um because the first name you see on that list is Mecole Hardman who, who over these last three games has played really well he's had five touchdowns 128 receiving yards and then 20 something rushing yards going back to that 49ers game so Mecole Hardman has been playing well these last couple of weeks um so a do not a DMP for him is not ideal you know we'll see if he ends up playing I was told it was an abdominal injury so I do expect that he will be back at practice maybe tomorrow, maybe at uh, Friday. And if he logs a limited or a full practice in one of those uh, days, I do expect him to play Sunday. Um, and then Kalen Saunders, another big name. I mean, Kalen Saunders has been stepping up this season all year. But last week especially, we finally got to see um, the release of Kalen Saunders. We got to see him be set free by this defense, and he he hunted down Malik Willis on that sack. He's been good in the running game, really good in the running game. So Kalen Saunders um, with the DMP is not ideal. I'm not sure what is up. I haven't seen that yet. The full injury report has not been released yet, so it's better that I don't speculate on what Kalen Saunders' injury could be. Um, and then Jody Fortson was expected to be a full participant today. He was – for sure, back at practice, he was either a limited or a full participant with the way Andy Reid was talking. I'm going to say he was a full um, participant for the Chiefs, so he could be back this Sunday, which we know how much of a red zone threat Jody Fortson is when he's used like that. So obviously it'll be ideal to have Fortson back. Um, and so we're going to go over to the keys to victory for the Chiefs, like I always say. And this, this first one, um, run the ball. And the reason it's in, it's in capital letters and there's those explanation points behind it because it had, the running game has been frustrating this year in, at in certain games. They've, they flashed in that bucks game. They flashed in some other games earlier in the year. Um, but then obviously last week against the Titans, they, they struggled, you know, Patrick Mahomes was the leading rusher with 63 yards. So it's going to be important that the run game gets going this Sunday um, because you can't expect Patrick Mahomes to go out there and throw the ball 68 times a week, no matter. I mean, you know, he's the best quarterback in the NFL right now, but that doesn't mean that he can go out there and throw the ball 68 times. You're going to have to establish some kind of running game um, just to keep the pressure off from Mahomes a little bit. So I, I hope that this is the week they get it established. I think this would be a great week to get it going against this Jaguars team that has struggled against the run this season. Um, and they're, they're going to have to negate the pass rushers. I mean, when you look at Jacksonville, they've got some pass rushers down there. They got Josh Allen. They've got Trayvon Walker, the number one pick in last year's draft. So it's going to be important that these tackles play. They play up to par in this game, specifically Orlando Brown and Andrew Wiley, who have struggled in games past, specifically that Titans game. Both of them had some moments in there where they struggle. They're going to have to step up this week because it doesn't get that much easier when you talk about Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker. These are two good edge rushers, so it's going to be important that we, we can slow them down at least a little bit here. Um, and number three, an extension of the running game is jet sweeps and screens. We've seen it in that game against the 49ers when, you know, Miko took two jet sweeps for a touchdown. Um McKinnon had that long screen gain on a third and 20, and he got the first down. So the screen and the jet sweeps are an extension to the running game, and I think that's going to be a big part as if to the Chiefs can run the ball successfully this Sunday or not. It's going to be the extension of the running game with the jet sweeps and the screens that are going to have to help that in a certain way. Um, and then for the defensive side of the ball, I want to see – 
keep Trevor Lawrence in the pocket. Don't let him get outside the pocket and beat you with his legs because Trevor Lawrence has done that quite a few times this year. When he gets outside of the pocket, he is a more than capable runner. He is a very athletic quarterback. So you're going to want to keep him in the pocket and make him beat you with that arm because at this point of his career, he's still making those young, you know, second year player mistakes. So it's going to be imperative that you, you keep him in the pocket. Um, and then I want to see Steve Spagnola blitz. I want to see him blitz this young quarterback, but more importantly, I want to see him mix the blitzes up, you know, a defensive back blitz here and there, linebackers blitz, and maybe a safety blitz, which Steve Spagnola has been very good at doing this year, which is mixing up his blitzes and keeping teams guessing, which he even did against one of the best quarterback. I mean, the, the best quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. So if he mixes those blitzes up against Trevor Lawrence, I do think it will confuse the young quarterback a little bit. Um, and then you got the slow down Travis Etienne. I mean, I think this is going to be very important as well. When Travis Etienne has taken over for um, James Robinson since they traded him, Travis Etienne has, has been able to, to have success. Um, there's no doubting that. And he's played very well in his last couple games since um, – James Robinson left. So it's going to be important you key in on tra uh, Travis Etienne and you don't let him beat you because, you know, our running defense is by the numbers a top top five running defense. But we all know that there's some some stuff that factors into that, um, you know, and the running defense is not the greatest. It, it's certainly they they're top five by numbers, but by watching them play, you wouldn't think they're top five. So you're gonna have to slow down Travis Etienne um, if you want to, you know, if you want to really stagnate this Jaguars offense. So, and then we'll get into my final score prediction, as I always do. This game, I got the Chiefs winning thirty-four to twenty-one. I think the Chiefs are gonna win by, you know, it's hard to pick the Chiefs to win by a wide margin because when I do. They don't win by that margin, but when I pick a close game, they end up, you know, like that Bucks game, they end up blowing them out, or like that 49ers game, they end up blowing them out. So it's going to be very um, interesting to see if they can, you know, find some separation from this team without this having to be like a down-to-the-wire game, and I think that's ultimately what's going to happen at home. Arrowhead Stadium, the Chiefs win 34-21. So as I always say, if you didn't enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and leave your final score prediction down in the comment section below. But before I get off here, I want to say, if you haven't already, you need to go check out Arrowhead Asylum with my, you know, my good friend Chase and James normally on there, but I, James was sick yesterday. So Chase, you know, shot me a text and said, Hey, you want to come on? So I went ahead and went on. So I'll definitely make sure to put that in the, in the end screens and in the cards for y'all to go check out. Um, the Arrowhead Asylum episode. But thanks for watching. Like I always say, please like, comment, and subscribe.